Celebrity chums, you know, are very strange in many respects because as we've seen so many times, and I've seen this particularly covering things like the red carpet for the Oscars, you know, Cannes Film Festival, National Television Awards, all that sort of stuff. They're fake friends, you know, they're pictured with you, might be good for their career, it might be good for your career. It just depends on which side the apple falls, as they often say. Now, one person who's not shy now at broadcasting his association with the former royals known as Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, is none other than the filmmaker and very wealthy indeed, Tyler Perry, godfather to Princess Lily. Now, of course, a lot of people had not really were aware of Tyler Perry. You know, I'd never really heard much of him. I work in this industry, but nonetheless, he's proven to be an incredibly successful entrepreneur, filmmaker, whatever you want to call him. But it was interesting in that docu-series, wasn't it, for Netflix, that he said he didn't mind becoming the, you know, godparent to Princess Lily, uh, as long as he didn't have to go through all of that, you know, very dismissive about the royal protocol and, of course, the celebration in a Christian country of a christening. I found that very dismissive personally, you know, but now he's back out the traps again. That's right. Uh, talking on a podcast all about his latest venture and no doubt, of course, <laughs> shall we say basking in the reflective glory of maybe getting a worldwide audience to his latest projects, which he wouldn't have got if he hadn't have done this. As ever, let me explain. Hi, good morning. Nice to see you. Thank you so much for joining me. Yeah, you know, as I say, celebrity pals, odd thing, really, you know. I prefer, as I call them, just normal people, normal friends that just, you know, they do good jobs, you do a good job, you chat about it over a cup of tea. It's nothing exceptional. We're all here in the one world, aren't we? Everybody is important, in my opinion. Everybody does a certain job. I think, you know, people who save lives are far more important than any celebrity I've seen walk the red carpet. I'm sure you'll agree. But what's interesting with Tyler Perry, as I say, fascinating, really, because, you know, he gave them Harry and Meghan his house for refuge, didn't really know them that well you know so one might suspect well that was a nice very kind gesture uh, focusing worldwide on your name and then of course you know he's carried on he's become good chums with them but what's interesting in this particular recent podcast the interviewer never once pressed to see whether Tyler would like to know both sides of the story you see he clearly just lands on the side of Harry and Meghan never questioning the fact that you know why is Harry not bothered meeting Meghan's father he's never questioned for uh, for instance with Meghan why did she truly fall out with her father and the reason being, some might suggest, and as ever we have to say allegedly, and I'm not suggesting that for a moment, I'm merely putting this out there. It's beneficial, isn't it? You see, the bottom line is when you have a new project, you know that people are going to ask about the most talked about global couple, if you like, in digital terms. Not necessarily in the right light, but of course, when you talk about somebody who gets column inches, by default, you get column inches yourself. And more importantly, people talk about you. That's the deal. That's the gig. And Tyler Perry did not get to where he is today without being some sort of shrinking violet. As I say, he was quite happy to pop up on the Netflix docuseries, which helped his profile enormously. Lots of people logged onto his website, his social medias, and he did incredibly well. I'm not suggesting for one moment he's not the brightest bulb, I would suggest he's a very clever man indeed. But given the fact that he likes to see sort of, you know, warmth, kindness, impartiality, inclusivity, why has he never thought about the other side of the coin, the Majesty the Queen? You know, why would you not want to come over and meet Her Majesty the Queen? Now, he would know, obviously, if that particular picture had taken place in Windsor, where allegedly, according to Meghan and Harry, there was a picture taken of our late and wonderful monarch with Princess Lily. Where's the picture? No questions ever asked, so one might suggest that this particular podcast did have a remit of questions that Tyler was willing to skirt around. Of course, it's got profile back on him, but more importantly, one might suggest if I were Harry and Meghan, exactly how do they benefit? Yes, you've got the use of a house, and as ever, I'd love to know what you think to this particular story in the comments below. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.